So the UK is currently the head of the G7 group. That's the world's most economically advanced countries. And the UK currently chairs the G7 group. Our chancellor, who does our economy, called Chancellor of the Exchequer, his name's Rishi Sunak. He put out this video saying that um, what they want to do is bring in this uh, thing called the central banking digital currency. They want to replace fiat paper money with digital money as a competitor to Bitcoin and crypto money, right? But instead of being uh, decentralized currency, it will be controlled by a government. It's digital currency, but controlled centrally through the banks, Bank of England. So instead of having a bank account with whatever, HSBC or Bank of America, you have a bank account directly within the American context with the Fed. In the UK, directly with the Bank of England. You have a personal bank account and you're given digital money in that bank account. These are called central banking digital currencies. The Chancellor of the Exchequer in the UK has already announced their intention to do this as the G7 group. And these, uh, if you look up... Um, this sounds terrifying. If you look way. up uh, the Telegraph newspaper. Uh, Central bank digital courtesy, uh, currency, that, is yeah. that the one down below? Digital currency should be programmable. See that one there? Yeah. Now what yeah. they're doing is they're saying, you know, everyone knows that with inflation at over 5%, it's now 5.4%, right? Uh, our fiat money, the paper money, is increasingly becoming worthless and we're headed towards a big disaster. They, the Fed wants to raise interest rates. But we're in so much debt that if you raise interest rates, people are going to suffer because everyone, the, the, you know, we're living on debt as Western economies. So they realize that this kind of the lifespan of paper money is fast coming to an end because of the 2008 economic crash in particular. So they're bringing in these central banking digital currencies. Why is that word programmable in there? So what they said in that article, and the, and the Chancellor put a video out saying this as well, they've said that this money that you will earn from work, instead of having paper money, you have this digital money. It's programmable so that you can't buy certain foods, or if you do something that your employer doesn't like, it's all in that article. You won't be able to spend your money. In other words, it's not money. They're vouchers. They're like food vouchers. And they can be programmed so that, like the Chinese social credit system, that if you try and use them on a certain thing, it won't work. You say you want to buy a burger and they want you to buy bugs, which is one of the examples used. If you start to try and buy unhealthy meat, it just won't work. You tap, you tap your card, you can't buy the thing because you've met your quota that month of burgers. You have to buy something like a, a vegan meal. So yeah? it won't just be money in the sense of the way we have dollars or pounds today. Yeah. It'll be something that's controlled in terms of your ability to distribute it. Which is why I'm calling it a voucher. It's a coupon. But even a coupon, if you have a coupon to buy bread, yeah. you can still buy the bread. Yeah. Like, there's but no... you can't buy, see that coupon to buy bread, what you can't do is buy a burger with that coupon. It's for bread. Right, yeah? right. Do you feel like you're sounding the alarm yes. for people that don't understand what is going on? So here, I'll put it up for you here, yeah? So there's the video. The group of the world's seven most advanced economies, the G7, is launching a set of public policy principles for retail central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. Central bank digital currencies could be a digital version of money, a bit like a digital banknote. That could be used alongside right, so that's the guy who runs our economy in the UK. His name's the Chancellor of the Exchequer. And here is the article. Bank of England tells ministers to intervene on digital currency programming. Yeah, And here's a quote from the article. Digital cash could be programmed to ensure it is only spent on essentials or goods which an employer or government deems to be sensible. Holy shit. I'm going to take it one step further for you, Joe, right? So the Checkpoint Charlie exists everywhere. They bring in digital banking, central banking, digital currencies. You've got a scenario now that you're checking in and out everywhere you go using vouchers that are programmed and you can only spend where you're told you can spend them. There's another word for that, man. That's called the Chinese social credit system. So what they are telling us, and when I say they, who's they? People in power. That's the head of our economy, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, second most powerful person other than the Prime Minister and maybe the Foreign Secretary in the UK, right? He's telling us, I just played it there for you. He's telling us that's what he, as the UK, the head of the G7, want to bring in for the G7. And if I'm speaking to you the way I'm speaking now, and my employer or government, you heard that in the quote directly, yeah, deems me as saying or doing something inappropriate, suddenly I can't actually pay to come here and speak to you anymore. My, my digital currency won't even pay for the ticket because it will be known that I'm coming to speak to you. Sorry, your, your vouchers don't allow you to purchase that ticket to go and speak to John. And this is where we get into the kind of censorship that we see in social media that is not, you can't have that kind of censorship with the First Amendment. In, in normal discourse, mm. but you can have that kind of censorship if you've developed 
a digital platform that distributes information, but it's a private company. Yeah. So think about what money is, where you can spending on spending on whatever you want, versus this digital currency, which is essentially controlled in a, a sense. Shalom, Koholoyim la Yahweh b'Hashem al Shah. This is the bonus LGMS and honest Akim. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters. I listen on full of lights. Koholoyim la Yahweh b'Hashem al Shah. You know we rehearse the righteous acts, keeping the memorial blown of the trumpets, the most important new moon of the year. And um, you know, just like in times past, blowing the trumpet, you know, we're sounding an alarm on the Most High's holy mountain, warning Israel, man. What's about to take place, man? All right, as I did in the last video through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, put up a video on Biden's executive order, the 14067, which uh, the initiation will start December 13th. And um, also put up another video today. They're also doing that in the UK as well. Same thing, it's the same concept, okay? Which is what digital programmable money. That's what sort of put up two videos on it through the spirit. This whole CBDC, this whole central bank digital currency, okay? And like the guy was explaining, it's pretty much just a voucher, okay? Pretty much just a voucher. They want to get rid of paper money as we all know. The death of cash, man. You see? And we, with the whole Maxine, the Vanessa passports and all those things that infrastructure is already in place already everywhere you have to go you have to scan this this that, and the third show proof of documentation but everything is digital okay well the money that's the same thing gonna do with this money right which all roads lead to the MOTB man everything will be tracked and everything will be traced okay and they can tell you how to spend your money Right, if you're consuming too much carbon, because they measuring everybody's carbon footprints, right? You're consuming too much meat, they can freeze your account. You say the wrong thing on your social media, they can just turn off your money. Okay. This is <laughs> this. <is> the <laughs> so it's here, man. We also showed the video, um, the last video, the Tesla guy. He got the thing in his hand. CNN is promoting it. I mean, oh, you guys, I'm gonna do another video on that. You guys have said that it's, um, the MOTB is not what it is. You are a liar, man. See, how about Shemal Shah made things clear to us, man? Even with this whole CBDC thing. Let me read this Isaiah 42 and 9. CB, uh, Isaiah 42 and 9, it says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So, before this thing comes to pass, as we know, they passed the legislation December 11th. They already started globally. Uh, you know, that's why the whole WE, um, um, World Economic Forum, WF, met up. And, you know, Yuval Noah and Klaus Schwab and Bill Gates and these other politicians, they meet up every year at these forums and at the G7s. And this is the things that they discuss in there. Right, like Nicholas Rockefeller told Aaron Russo, the, the the final goal is to get that thing in your hand, man. That's the final goal, man. And we told people that, man. And people weren't listening from their apostles and elders and down, and they mocked the messenger. Well, you're gonna be mocked in the end. Let me get this though. Psalms 94 verse 20. Okay, so it's here, man. It's here. Okay, Psalms 94 and 20. It says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? They're framing mischief, these evil devices and these plans and these snares by law. Okay, because we just talked about what? That executive order, man. And most people don't know about it. We ask these people about the executive order coming in December. Or people in uh, Europe, what's going on? They don't know what's going on, man. People just having fun because a lot of the restrictions lifted they want to go back to their normal life the elites don't want you to go back to a normal life man this life of abundance where you can just go and do as you please and buy what you want when you want you know everything is easy they want that life to be done away with and they want most of you people to be done away with man okay that's how they're going to orchestrate more attacks and they're going to completely crash the economy 
and talk about the economy as we all know this is an unrighteous decree man okay that whole MOTB's unrighteous this whole digital currency that's all unrighteous man like we know in the scripture we deal with gold and silver things that you can actually weigh right things that have actual value that has no value they give it value same thing like the dollar which is a fiat currency okay matter of fact let me read one two precepts on that Genesis chapter 23 verse 14 and Ephraim answered Abraham saying unto him my lord hearken unto me the land is worth 400 shekels of silver what is that betwixt me and thee birdie therefore thy dead and Abraham hearkened unto Ephron and Abraham weighed to Ephron the silver he weighed it which he named in the audience of the sons of Heth, 400 shekels of silver current money with the merchant. That was money in times past, man. Okay? Had intrinsic value, gold and silver. Let me read one more. Proverbs 20 and 10. The dollar is not redeemable. It's supposed to be a measurement of gold or silver. Not a measurement of anything. That's what they just printed as they please, the Fed. Okay? But they want to do away with that. All right, let me read this though. Proverbs 20 and 10. It says, Divers weights and divers measures, both of them are like an abomination to Yahweh Bashem Yah Shah. Yeah, because you use one weight to buy, one weight to sell. And most I said, that's wickedness, man. In times past, when you put it on the scale, whatever the case is. You had to purchase goods or to sell goods. It had to be equal. Okay? So Esau ain't following this law, man. Let me read verse 23. It says, Divers weights are an abomination to Yahweh Shemesha, and a false balance is not good. Most I ain't dealing with that, man. So the whole infrastructure of America, the economic infrastructure, is evil. Okay? All these these elites, um, they're wicked men, man. There was a quote I remember. I think yeah, Tyrell Woodick said that. Wellick, he said, give a man a gun and he can rob a bank. But give a man a bank and he can rob the world, man. And that's a fact, man. And that's exactly what they have done. They robbed this whole earth. Okay? They took all the resources. And they, they this whole society is a is a credit or a debt-based society. Okay? That's what these banks give out, man. You put your money in the bank and they give you a, a loan, but it's credit. It's not tangible, man. See, and this whole digital currency, that's just further evil, man. Further is going to enslave the masses. Okay? That's why, let me read mm, a couple more precepts. Let me read Psalm 73. I didn't want to do nothing long. I just had to quickly report on this. Um, I did, like I said, the last video where you had a uh, Jim Rickards, who was a White House advisor, also for the CIA as well. And this is what the scripture says, a tongue shall fall upon himself. You know, these Edomites, you're now being persecuted as well. This is no longer them just destroying Jake. Now the cup is being passed to you, man. Okay? Your kingdom is finished, man. The elite has pretty much cut you devils off. All right? You lower minions, man. <laughs> Read Psalm 73. The whole chapter is good. This is the brother Asaph, one of the singers in the temple. And he's going in on the wicked. And what did he say? He said, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. This is further oppressing people. Right? And they're talking about cyber attacks. So they're going to wipe out your bank account and give you some damn programmable money and tell you how to spend it. And if you don't do what they say, they turn this shit off, man. Right? Just like they started with Maxine. And we told people that, man. Oh, you can't travel. You can't go to the restaurant. You can't have a job unless you have this thing. And the vast majority of these idiots out here went out there and took the shit, man. And now a lot of you niggas dropping dead, man. Heart problems and all of that, man. Okay? Let me jump to verse 20. It says, As a dream when one waketh, so, O Yahweh, by Shem and Shah, when thou wakest, thou wilt despise their image. And this is the image of the beast that's talking. All right? And we know that MOTB is the final when he puts it inside of you that's the fourth industrial revolution okay revelation 13 11 he said and i beheld another beast coming up of the earth and he had two horns as a lamb and he spake as a dragon we know the two political parties is democrat republicans and he's speaking as a dragon now draconian law draconian measures further stripping away your rights okay and we know when you read further down it goes into the motb that's the final man which is his mark 
All right. But Yahweh Bashem Yahshah is going to save us, man. We don't got to worry about that. He said, I will deliver you from the hour of temptation, which he's going to bring upon all the world. Okay. China have it. Russia got their own BS. Um, we know the, the NATO is doing it. The beast. And we know the whore. All right. She's not too far behind. Cause these European nations, they moving fast. Sweden said by March 2023, they want to be done with cash completely. Okay. And they, Biden, he already signed executive over December. So they're saying 2023, um, it should be fully up and running. All right. So, um, yeah, man, we in that time, man. But let me read this last precept. Sirach chapter 33, verse 1. It says, There shall no evil happen unto him that fear for Yahweh Bashem El Shah, but in temptation again he will deliver him, man. So when this thing comes to pass, because there will be a famine, there will be food shortages, there will be riots, there will be uproars, there will be more, more plagues and more pestilences, there will be death, okay? And we know ultimately Aisha is going to bring forth this MOTB, which will be the solution, all right? But we not taking that, man, because if you take that, Yahweh Bashem Yah Shah is going to destroy you, man. And you're going to burn in the presence of Yahweh Shah and the angels. But Yahweh Bashem Yah Shah is going to work miracles in these times for his elect, man. All right? And that's how we're going to escape the temptation, man, is by trusting and believing in him. All right? So with that, I'm going to say, Kol Loyim La Yahweh Bashem Yah Shah Shalom.